welcome. We're delighted to share with you excerpts from UU University, an educational program for leaders of Unitarian Universalist congregations. My name is Harlan Limpert, and I serve our congregations as Director for District Services. And I'm Teresa Cooley, the District Executive for the Massachusetts Bay District of UU Congregations. As Unitarian Universalists, we pride ourselves on our democratic traditions. We try to include many voices and perspectives. The leadership of our congregations is shared between the members and the clergy. And yet often we place members in positions of leadership without giving them the tools for understanding how we can be effective facilitators and stewards of our congregation's trust. So the Unitarian Universalist Association developed this program just for you, the people who give their time, energy, talent, and resources to help our congregations live out their mission in the world. So here is UUA President Bill Sinkford welcoming you to UU University. One of the issues that is critical for us as a faith community is the issue of growth. And we've been in a kind of a funny a funny conversation about growth. You know, the association has been trying experiments since I was elected, and we're going to continue to try experiments. Um, and there's been critique as experiments fail and, and experiments succeed. There's a lot of critique. And, and what I know is that, is that there is virtue in all of the critiques of what we have tried to date. And what we need to do is to, is to make a space where we can learn from those things that don't meet our expectations or our hopes and still find a way to inspire one another to stay the course, to use language which is very current in the national political landscape, but by, by stay the course, I mean stay in that experimental mode because we do not have this all figured out. And so I want to en encourage you to, to approach the work today in that kind of experimental mode. I have two other thoughts that I want to, want to share with you. One has to do with my experience of an observation of congregational life. And it's about, it's about what healthy congregational life looks like. And the word that I want to focus on here is the word balance. That when we, we have congregational systems which have strong ministerial leadership and strong lay leadership, they tend to thrive. And it's in those circumstances where the system gets out of balance, where, where the ministerial leadership is too strong, too dominant, and the lay leadership is not strong enough, not strong enough, then that, that imbalance not only destabilizes the system, but it mitigates against congregational health. The same thing is true when the lay leadership is functioning at a very high level with great strength and the ministerial leadership is not functioning at that high a level. It's another instance of imbalance, which not only destabilizes the system, but mitigates congregational growth. And so the opportunities that we're trying to provide, like this one for you all, and that the ministers have provided for themselves for decades, for decades, are attempts to, to increase the capacity on both sides of that balance equation, so that we have more congregations where, where growth is not mitigated against more congregations which are in better balance, more congregations which can actually claim a mission and a vision for their ministry in the world and find a way respectfully to work toward that vision, mission, and ministry together. And, and the, final, the final thought that, that I want to leave with you is a, a look toward the future. One of the things that, that we know Again, drawing on my experience and the literature of congregational systems, is that to the extent that we can create effective teamwork, effective teamwork, congregations tend to thrive. But it's the teamwork, that sense of common purpose, of, of covenant around leadership, which seems to allow our congregations to move ahead. And this is not just our congregations, this is this is congregations generally. And so my hope looking toward the future, I can imagine a time when there will be some selected opportunities for interchange here at General Assembly between the lay leadership and the ministerial leadership, 
because there are some issues that we have to work on together. And I hope that we'll find a way to make that happen in the future. So thank you all, and I hope that that continues to be good for you as we try to work together to move this faith ahead. Thank you.